Gunung Jirai is the third highest mountain in Kita, but before the mountain was formed, the area was simply called Pulau Sarai. The formation of Gunung Jirai was the result of natural geographic processes, which took place hundreds of millions of years ago. Archaeologist Professor Datuk Dr. Mokhtar Sadin, 60, said that during the formation, a series of tectonic plate motions also brought out exotic minerals and one of the most important cultural and scientific sites in Kita. Padang Tok Sheikh. We met Professor Dr. Mokhtar during a recent media visit to Gunung Jirai, where he talked in length about the important archaeological discoveries in the state, which also includes Sungai Batu and Lumba Bajong. Minerals such as iron, tin and garnet were exposed by the intrusion of magma, which became important resources, Professor Dr. Mokhtar said. In 2017, the Malaysian government listed the area as a National Geopark, now known as Jirai Geopark. The Geopark, which extends over an area of 502 square kilometers between the districts of Yan and Kuala Muda, comprises 24 geosites and other places of interest. There is a geo trail that allows visitors to glean deeper insights into the history of the place. Time equals 400 ms. Greater than this trail will also please those with a zest for eco adventure, as there are other activities like cycling camping and bird watching that you can do in the area. Here are some of the highlights of the trail. Padang Tok Sheikh is surrounded by lush forests, a scenic view. At the peak of Gunung Jirai, Padang Tok Sheikh located along the Geo Trail, Padang Tok Sheikh is a geo site and is home to Malaysia's oldest fossil, the Metacord site. The prehistoric rock which dates back to 550 million years ago preceded dinosaurs, believed to have roamed the earth some. 240 to 66 million years ago. The rock was a sedimentation of mud, clay and sand under the sea before the magma petrified it and lifted it up, rising to its current height, Professor Dr. Mokhtar explained. The spiral lines on the sedimentary rock are traces of ancient worms that once lived. Here, showing evidence of underwater life, he added. Interestingly enough, Padang Tok Sheikh was named after a trader, Sheikh Abdullah Sheikh Ahmad who was also a prominent Islam preacher from Yemen. He converted Kida's first ruler, Raja Durbar, to Islam, who then became Sultan Mudzafar Shah I with the use of the word Sultan. The Kida government system was then formed. An Azan tower or minaret was built to commemorate the occasion. Professor Dr. Mokhtar said while the reason for choosing the site was not recorded, the spacious public space was a favorable spot with traders. The open area is cooling as it's surrounded by lush forests, he added. Time equals 400 ms. greater than today. Padang Tok Sheikh serves as a space of worship for Muslims. Many believers would congregate at the field for their Friday prayers. The Azan Tower was built at the Padang Tok Sheikh to celebrate the formation of the Kita state, Talaga. Tok Sheikh not too far from Padang Tok Sheikh is the Talaga Tok Sheikh. This well has been around for many years and never runs out of water. Since it is only 2 kilometers from the field, the well became a vital source of water for drinking as well as bathing centuries ago. Today, it's still functional and people come here to perform their ablutions before prayers, Professor Dr. Mokhtar said. Batu Kapal Batu Kapal is a boulder, which resembles a capsized ship. As the 2 meters tall rock bears a similar appearance to an overturned boat. Rumor has it that the rock was cursed. Time equals 400 ms. Greater than stories of unearthly events were often claimed to be heard by local folks, as well. Although there is a myth surrounding this boulder, Professor Dr. Mokhtar said that from a geological perspective, it is actually a piece of quartzite or hardened sandstone. Time equals 400 ms. Greater than Alor Naga Waterfall The majestic Alor Naga Waterfall is a popular spot among hikers. Getting to the waterfall involves a 20-minute trek through the quiet forested landscape of Jirai. The waterfall, which is made up of the ancient metacortsite rock, is well known for its ice-cold waters. Time equals 400 ms. greater than many come here for picnics and to enjoy the cool atmosphere. Professor Dr. Mokhtar said that one will only be able to fully explore the places if they have an expert, a local guide, with them. You have to go with someone who knows the stories like the back of their hands, otherwise, your trip is incomplete. Time equals, 400 ms. greater than vans are also available for rent at the foothill. This is because the roads to get there are winding, 
making maneuvering the sharp bend of the road impossible for outsiders. Sungai Merbak is home to various mangrove species and a habitat for birds. Time equals 400 ms, greater than Sungai Merbak cruise the Merbak estuary, meanwhile, is a biocide. It was formed when the sea level started receding 5,000 years ago. Today, the 15 kilometers long river is a thriving mangrove ecosystem, with over 39 mangrove species, some of which are native to the area. For instance, the Bacau Pasir, Rhizophora stylosa, is a rare mangrove species in Malaysia. The river also provides a habitat for various winged residents, mostly migratory birds, such as storks, egrets and kingfishers. If you are lucky, you may just be able to see them flying gracefully in the sky. Time equals 400 ms, greater than it takes about one and a half hours to cruise through the saltwater river. The murky looking water is a reflection from the planktons in the water. Some of us may not know but mangroves are a great contributor to the ecosystem as they provide oxygen. Its ability to absorb carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases make them an important resource to Kedah and the country. These precious plant species, however, have fallen prey to trespassers who illegally harvest the trees for profit, which caused the dwindling population of mangroves in the area over the years. As an effort to protect the trees, the community teaming up with students from University Sains, Malaysia, USM, started a conservation project to replant the trees at the site. For more information, check out Jirai Geopark on social media, Facebook, at Ancient Kida Heritage, at Jirai Joe Park, or go to its website, kida.com.my. Visitors can also email dkbpen at gmail.com. Look out also for updates on archaeological tourism and geotourism packages. On the Tourism Malaysia website, malaysia.travel slash closing parenthesis.